And I think in the last few years, Portland's mural scene and street art scene has, has exploded. And I think people really started to see, they like seeing all this art on the walls. And so more and more people are saying, you know what, I wanna see that, I want that on my building. There's a lot of misconceptions, and so when people think of graffiti, they think, oh, if it has aerosol, it must be gang-related, and that's not true. And so we really try to provide these spaces, specifically to um, graffiti-style writers, to, to give them a space to really practice their work and to show off the art that is in uh, graffiti-style lettering. It's pretty relaxed. You don't have to be worried about getting arrested, so that's always good. Getting paid is also rad. It's really cool for people to walk by and talk to you during the day. We wanted to honor the working class history of this site, being right next to the railroad tracks and in the historic Albina neighborhood. The mural uh, directly behind us in the doorway depicts uh, Rose Schneiderman, who was a historic uh, labor rights leader, particularly for women's uh, worker rights uh, in the early 1900s. That's why we also put the slogan across the top of the building that the worker must have bread, but she must also have roses too. So that's kind of a reference that beyond just having substance, uh, you know, the ability to pay your rent and feed yourself, that uh, workers should also have enough um, wages to also be able to enjoy their lives.